Hello everybody, Lady Drebin here, and welcome to a very special episode of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So those of you who have been following my channel and have been watching my videos in this Let's Play series, uh, you've probably seen my two cats come across at some point or another. There's the little Sith kitty who's Missy, and the big fluffy Jedi kitty who's Sophie, who is the one who stole my cookie a couple episodes ago. She walked across my lap and took the cookie right out of my hand. Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, by the time this episode goes live, it will actually be Sophie's birthday. She'll be turning six years old. And we will hopefully see her this episode. I'll try to get her to come by. She was just laying in the box next to me and now she's over on the other side of the room having some water. But anyway, let's see what time we're studying. Okay. <clears throat> well, without any further ado, let's go ahead and start up the game. Last time we got Fasola's side quest. Uh, we found out that her mother is on Tatooine and apparently is sick. As always, I'll link in the description where to get this mug. It's my absolute favorite mug. There's Tana Sven, who carved up the punch's teeth out. Yeah. Got some other hunters in the lodge here. It's not super important to talk to. Kudos! Ciao, Basso! Gino Morirani Nubo! So you can ask them about Tatooine versus going off planet. Ah, bah, Hassan. Alrighty. Well, we're supposed to try to get a hunting license from the uh, Zerka place. Have you seen a woman that may resemble me somewhat? She's my mother. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Elena. Basila, isn't that your mother's name? Her mother was supposed to be here somewhere. Ask if they've seen her. Ah, bah, ha, sa. Yes, 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 all right. Mana dem not dem not. Anyway, so a little cutscene. Basilisk's mother is apparently in the cantina. Did this stuff in the soap locker yet? Yes, we did. All right. Here's the Zerka office. Let's get a hunting license. <laughs> Oh. What's going on here? Tong Nong Bong Chang Yung Yang. Tong Patok Smakdelia. What's going on here? Who are you? Kuyami just kuna chitanai. Ina kun mama ruli ra ra chikun. Slimo patona. Mundi hadonga chihonkabi. La boda ni winkis maktoma. Wana kun best ching pama ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kek. Tok ning cha muli ra ra best. at the top of her tower now, the birthday girl. I know you're being so it's not her birthday, but for them it's your birthday now. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and have a look for the office. How can I help? Oh, wait. Or apparently we're talking to Basil. Do you want to talk? Hmm? Sorry. I'm just thinking about my mother. 
It's strange to hear news after all this time. It's quite distracting. It's not that I look forward to seeing her. I just can't help but wonder what she wants. But perhaps we have better things to do. Find me opening these cookies. All right. Protocol. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company? <laughs> if this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. Wait, 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 what? Um, okay, I'm looking for a miner named Griff. Griff? Uh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerka Corporation payroll. Are you so... I mean, you compared to Dragon Memory, but persuade. Are you certain of that? I would leave sooner if I knew. Oh, you mean that Twi'lek? Must have slipped my mind for a second. Yes, of course I remember Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. That sounds like him. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the sand people wouldn't have gotten him. Wait, wait, the sand people? He was lost in a sand people raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. So your workers are all expendable. Zerka Corporation cares deeply for all of its employees. Sure. That's why we've started a bounty program to thin the Sand People numbers. We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. Mm, never mind, I wanted to speak to you about or is there some kind of reward for saving it? As I said, all employees have signed waivers absolving Zerka Corporation of any financial liability if this occurs. It is the industry standard. I suppose you could apply for a special dispensation from the Zerka Corporation representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours only, please. Hmm. Never mind, I want to ask you about something else. Very well, though I do have work to get back to. So, I want to ask about those hunting licenses that you said you weren't selling anymore. Like, I don't need one. As I said, we are no longer selling them. Yeah, there I are know. too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. Why would I need a license anyway? We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal concerns. Zerka, it's just so we can keep ah. track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting license. My cookie clicked ahead. Oh yes, legal concerns. Nobody leaves without a hunting license. Is there a way to get a hunting license? Have there been a lot of people leaving the city? With the downturn in mining, people want any chance at credits they can get. Most wouldn't survive a day, let alone qualify as hunters. The last license issued before the ban was given to a woman named Marlena Venn. She'll do fine. She had a mean streak a parsec wide. She also paid double. Exceptions like this are rare, unless it suits the company to offer them. Marlena? Oh. I wonder if she's related to Tannis then. Was there nowhere to get a license? Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. I do for the Gaffy sticks, why not their heads? Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Besides, they're ceremonial weapons, unique to each warrior. It's just as good. I don't want to do this. Then you are free to leave the city just like everyone else. Zerker Corporation will welcome your eventual change of mind. Please feel free to enjoy the door behind you. Oh, okay. Greetings again from the hey. offices of Zerga Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? You ask her about Zerga, ask about anything out of the ordinary. Hunting lessons! As I said, we are... Oh. 
What is it you wanted me to do for a license? The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy stick. If you agree to do this, I'll give you... I'll do this for you. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. I'll get to it then. Very good. Zerker Corporation looks forward to your future business. Alright, we received a hunting license. Achua Penki, Yun Patisa, Tichuba Jikutka Naga, Kingu Mwa Muli Radwana, Kingba Nicha Lora Kun. I want to ask about aunties. Kakin cha nawabaka on. Bagua shank What do you have available for purchase? Chi we aita ラボダニウンキスマトマ。ワナコンベスチンバーマウリラ。トッチンバンノンケ。トッニンジャムリララベス。Ina kunba ma ruli ra ra chikun slimo patona undi hadonga chikon kabi. Intelligent or not, the sand people have killed people. La boda ni winki smak toma wana kun bes ching pa ma ruli ra tok ching bang non kek tok ning cha muli ra ra bes kuya mi just kuna chitanai ina kunba ma ruli ra ra chikun slimo patona undi hadonga chikon kabi la boda ni winki smak toma. Wanna call best ching pa ma ruli ra, fok ching bang non kek, tuk ning ja mui ra ra bes. Why hasn't anyone tried talking to them? Kuya mi just ku na chik tenai, yi na kun ba ma ruli ra ra chikun, slimo patona, mundi ha donga chi hong kabi, la boda ni winki smak toma. Wanna call best ching pa ma ruli ra, fok ching bang non kek, tuk ning ja mui ra ra bes. Kuya mi just ku na chik tenai. Ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chikun slimo patona undi ha donga chikon kabi. Did I? Okay. Oh, I would have a capable droid. La boda ni winki smak toma wana kun bes ching ba ma ruli ra tok ching bang non kek tok ning ja mui ra ra bes kuya mi just kun a chik tenai Ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chikun slimo patona Mundi ha donga chikon kabi. La boda ni winki smak toma. Wana kun bes ching pa ma ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kek. Tuk ning ja mui ra ra bes. Where would the enclave you mentioned be? Kuya mi just kun a chik tenai. Ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chikun slimo patona. Mundi ha donga chikon kabi. Where would you get robes to match theirs? Kuya mi just kun a chik tenai. Ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chikun slimo patona. Mundi ha donga chikon kabi. La boda ni winki smak toma. Wana kun bes ching pa ma ruli ra. Tok ching bang non kek. Tuk ning ja mui ra ra bes. Hmm. Where would you get robes to match theirs? Kuya mi just kun a chik tenai. 
Ina kun mama ruli ra ra chikun Slimo patona Undi ha donga chikon kapi La boda ni winki smak toma Wana kun bes ching pa ma ruli ra Tok ching bang non kek Tok ning cha muli ra ra bes Alrighty, so we've been offered an alternative way of dealing with the same thing. Oh, so that's what I do. There's a thing from the merchant by the landing pad that I wanted to show you guys, and I'm going to buy it because why not? Gotta wait for Basila. There she is. Okay, let's talk to Freak. Freak! Ooh, ouch. Uchu a penki, tongi tuama ji, human ak un inkatune, chi ita kang ki chan chi wak er aita kang ki ba ba hasan shan. No ba muri ra chi lai kunka. Just show me what you have for sale. Smilia! Smilia! Patoga yak fuli kunkala ji ji! Kunkala ji ji! Sounds so happy. Sophie. Oh. This is at the top of the DDG. Hopefully, not this. Ooh, life support packs. Bye, 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 bye. Here it is, Usani's brand. So now, oh, I can't afford it yet. Later, later. So, a little bit of uh, history lore from the Mandalorian War. Revan Lord. Usanis was the most famous of Atani warriors, fighting against oppression and, and fighting against oppression and villainy until encountering Darth Revan. Discovering that Revan had killed an Atani senator, Usanis attempted to tell the authorities, but fell to the powers of the Sith Lord despite his own impressive abilities. And the Cortosis Weave inherits all the Chani Viper Blades. That's his double bladed, double sided Viper Blade. Um, so, something more about Usanis is that he is actually the father of a character in Kotor 2, the Handmaiden Brianna. Uh, he was an Achani general and he actually served under Revan in the Mandalorian Wars. What they're referring to here, of Darth Revan was after the Mandalorian Wars, so that's during this war. So this is fairly recent. Um, this war in game has only been going on for two years. So he couldn't have been gone for long. Mandalorian Wars ended four years ago, so it's, it's happened sometime within the past four years. I believe. Yeah. That sounds right. Alright, well we can't afford that right now, but we're gonna come back to that. Sophie's coming! Are you gonna come say hi, Sophie? You coming to scratch? She's scratching. You gonna come say hi? Birthday girl, come say hi? Sophie! Okay. No. You don't want to come see mommy? Oh, she might come in a little. She's within a arm's range. Arm's distance. Alrighty. Let's head to the cantina now and find Basil's mother. Oh wait, we have that hunting license. We can sell the plate. We can sell the plate for the lady. Hunting lodge. What's going on here? How's up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Miguel e Rima. É, só tem esse ano. A boia da Colo do Ivan Rebu, Miguel e Rima. Uma da chefa, o da Gel Cris. Carol, do Nelson. Olha, é um tipo de algo. You're back. Please, have you sold the plate ah. I gave you? My children and I are counting on the credits. Yes, I've sold the plate. You have? Did Faza give you a good price? How much did you get for us? Two hundred more than you thought, so you can give her extra credits. She thought it was five hundred. Two hundred more than you thought. Here. Seven hundred credits. Oh, thank you. It is more than generous of you. I don't know what to say. I just don't. Glad to see we're still the good guys here. Sometimes I think we forget that. Thank you for helping this woman. It may not seem like such a great thing to you, but you are making a difference. For whatever it means, may the Force be with you. You saved us. Ah. Uh. Light side points gained! I'm sorry, my leg itches. There we go. Okay. To the Star Wars, Star Wars Continuum. The weirdest creatures you've ever seen. You at. Oh, that's so sweet registration. There's the Star Wars, Star Wars Continuum. Music and blasters and old Jedi masters of the sky. Here's the cantina! Anchorhead Cantina! Alrighty. Put the shower. Zerka officers. Java server. Yeah. I'm sorry, do I know you? I'm here, Mother. But don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? Do you know how long I've been trying to find you? You knew as well as I communication would be impossible once I joined the Order. Now what is this about? Where is Father? Then you haven't heard. I should have known. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead, Vastila. That is part of the reason why I was looking for you. Dead? What happened? What did you do to him? Isn't this a lovely reunion? Already she's flinging insults at me. Tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? My mother's dead. You must know. Is that so? Well, I'll be joining her soon enough, I suppose. I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying, or is this merely melodrama for my benefit? Such sweet things, you say. Ah, perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start arguing again. I'm you could sorry. start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. I hadn't realized Jedi was so spiteful. Sophie. You want me to tell you I brought your father here for an expedition, do you? You want it's to blame me girl. for his death? You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for crate dragon pearls. He took an expedition into the Tatooine desert and he died. How can you be sure of that? Father is an experienced... Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a crate dragon and one of the guides fled the battle. He saw your father killed. I see. So what do you want from me? Credits? Oh, don't be insulting. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to find him. I want you to bring back his holocron. Why? So you can sell it? 
Is it too much to ask that I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you doubt me. Why don't you get the holocron for yourself, Miss Er... Helena? As my daughter is quick to point out, I haven't the coin to hire another expedition. Nor am I the adventurer my husband was. Don't you want to find your father's remains, Basla? What remains would there be? Crate dragons are huge predators, easily able to devour a human. And the desert is a harsh environment. Finding my father's remains would be an even more impossible task than finding his holocron. An ignoble end to a fine man. What about your mother's sickness? It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asking. Are you actually sick, mother? What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's holocron, and you won't have to worry about me again either way. That's the kind of response I would expect. Very well. We'll look for the holocron if we have time. I can't promise any more than that. I believe your father was headed north towards the Sand People Enclave. I would check along that route, dear. Do please hurry. Okay. So, I, I turned the camera briefly and I during conversation, but there's the birthday girl, Sophie. Look at your camera. Good girl. Oh. She's the birthday girl. She's gonna be six years old. Yes, yeah, so and she likes her rubs and scratches. Good rubs and scratches. Okay. Birthday kitty. We talked to Basil's mom. Uh, we're that are taken. Are some of your people missing? Hmm. These Jawas sure aren't the trusting type, are they? No doubt, with good reason. Well, for once, I'll agree with you. You two agreed? Somebody mark this day down! So we're not going to bother with street for the station yet. We'll do that soon. Got some restored content for that one, actually. Or rather, a lost module. Straight job! So there's... Got some droids here. Utility droid. Drop with the droid. A defense turret. What's this in the corner? HK-47! Yooka-laka! <laughs> Sounds like he's from Florida. Okeechobee. Alapada. Yooka-laka. Uh, what do you have available in your shop? Let me ask a few questions about HK-47. I don't seem to know very much about it. And if the unit proves even more uncooperative once we purchase it. Why haven't you wiped his memory? What functions have you done? 
Duftadan Elfa Boy Sidan Elfa Duri Duftadan Fandigo Elfa Boy Sidan Elfa Badino Gan Elfa Duftadan Elfa Duftadan Chief Kolo Duftadan Fabuelda Kolo Duftadan Rebu Ikelti Rimmel What does the HK-47 designation mean? Where did you get this HK-47? And was this a droid of his own, or something stored in that warehouse? I'm interested. Let's Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional SizeTech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query. Would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. You mentioned battle and protocol. Outline your functions. Refusal. It is not desirable for me to reveal core functions while still in the possession of Yukalaka, prospective purchaser. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Why are you keeping information to yourself? Explanation. I have been recently fitted with a restraining bolt, if you must know. With it in place, access to much of my memory core is restricted. Not to mention that the fool Ithorian might raise his asking price if he knew more, or make inquiries into my history. Neither outcome is beneficial to me. Access to your memory is restricted? 
statement. Indeed, it is possible that the Athorian placed the restraining bolt on me to prevent my return to a previous owner. It is also possible that the removal of the bolt will not restore memory functions. Without my memory, I do not know if I know the answer. Do not interpret this as a reduction of my worth, however. My capabilities are quite expansive. How do I know that he'll be loyal once the restraining bolt is removed? Assurance. I am fully autonomous, but lack resources. I will grant loyal service in exchange for proper maintenance. As well, it is rare that I am able to utilize my full array of abilities. You seem likely to give me the opportunity to do so. Why would you assume that? Extrapolation. You are no farmer or diplomat. You are armed and comfortable as such. We will mesh well. Doesn't Chupa question you about your reluctance for Belia functions? Explanation. It is rare for a droid to resist an owner in this way. Doubtless the Athorian considers my stubbornness an embellishment to add interest to a seemingly mundane protocol droid. Mm, let's go back to my previous questions. Objection. My functions are wasted here, prospective purchaser. I will answer your queries, but I assure you, I am better utilized elsewhere. Sell yourself, droid. Why would I need you? Disclosure. I am a versatile protocol and combat droid, fluent in verbal and cultural translation. Should your needs prove more practical, I am also skilled in highly personal combat. So you translate. I understand most languages well enough. Extrapolation. Intuitive language comprehension? That would be the result of recognition and training of force sensitivity. Your kind have little use of translation droids. Of course, your kind also encounters danger on a far more frequent basis than the average citizen. You would do well to have me work for you then, before someone else makes use of my more exotic functions. Why would you be better armed then? Better than an armored battle droid. Disclosure. Finesse. Battle droids hold battlefields. I'm capable of eliminating a very specific type of target. You're beginning to sound a lot like an assassin. Retraction. Droids built for such a function face strict regulation and often have unique difficulties with previous owners. A droid like this doesn't usually have former owners that survived. Will be my guess. Objection. My <laughs> former owners are indeed alive. Or at least I believe so, not having access to my memory. I therefore make no claim to that designation, prospective buyer. I am a law abiding droid. Yes, indeed. Law abiding. That's me. Hmm. You don't sound very convincing. Request. Please do not speak so loudly, prospective buyer. Do you truly wish my price to be doubled? Let's go back to my previous questions. Objection. My functions are wasted here, prospective purchaser. I will answer your queries, but I assure you, I am better utilized elsewhere. I'm not familiar with size tech corporation. What else do they make? Answer. With the restraining bolt in place, I do not have access to my memory core. I suspect, however, by the fine quality of my manufacturer, that they are a prestigious company indeed. I suspect I am of unique construction, or perhaps I was intended for a very specific customer. How I ended up here, I can hardly say. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Yeah, yeah, you said that. Let's go back to my previous questions. Objection. My functions are wasted here, prospective purchaser. I will answer your queries, but I assure you, I am better utilized elsewhere. Mm, all right, I'll see about purchasing you. Statement. The fool Lithorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed, and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward, and will be responsive to aggressive bargaining. 
Does he go out and know that you talk about him like this? Statement. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. I have no desire to be subtle. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you, should you purchase me, please. Alrighty. So, he's expensive. At most you can willingly get Kukalaka to go down to is 2,000, or rather, no, is 4,000, so I can't afford that. I'm going to... Go ahead and change our party members because I'm not in the mood for a lecture. Party selection. No Bastila. No Karth. Candorous! Come here, buddy. Wakurita. Kolo Doof. Ivan Rebu. Ikel Tirima. Ask a few questions about HK47. You don't seem to know much about it. Basilisks were always much more reliable than the stuff you see in the Republic or Sith Empire. Mm, I'm interested. Let's talk price. Come now. Think of the advertising you'll get from me. Get him down to 3,000. We just bought some stuff so we can't afford that. Or you can threaten him to get the price even lower. <laughs> so let's use stock. Sell some stuff. Ooh, we only have. Okay. Show sell list. We sell here. Hmm. Let's go. Stop So it's combat suit. Item value zero. What? Only three hundred for lightsaber, double bladed. Game. Oh, some red crystals. So, some heavy glasses. Oh, 
Okay, if so, we're gonna. Let's buy this HK47. Now, since we're not threatening, as I can bring myself to it. Bye, Candy. Actually, we don't need Basila. Just her. Hi, Sophie. You're so soft. I try to seven. Sounds like you've got a faulty droid on your hands. Yeah, we guys. Oof, that damn teeth. Oof, that's the shit. Huh. I'm interested. Let's talk price. What is that? 3,000 credits. Seems fair. I'll pay it. So you can say drop the price or you're dead, but we're gonna pay it. Oh, yeah. And keep me on Gorlupio. What is that? Gorlupio. If I'm able to stand on Gelfa. Uh, not interested. Goodbye. All right. Let's go collect our droid. HK. How are we doing on time? Maybe we should end after this. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Kill something for me. Answer. Indeed. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. At your command, of course, Master. Wait here, I'll take the mission later. Objection. This is less than ideal, Master. I gather unwanted attention while here, and my primary functions go unused. But I shall wait as you command. Do not blame me if the Athorian absconds with all my most valuable components while you are away, however. Okay, let's Statement. actually get him now. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Travel with me now! Statement. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. HK-47 has joined your party. Left click this response to go to party selection screen. Alright. Let's add HK-47. He is a very dark side droid. Okay. Yes, I'm sure. HK! Let's equip him with some steps. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, he is very red. Very, very red. Okay. He wants some droid plating. Okay. Shield disruptor, a stun ray. Since he's a higher level, he can do a flamethrower. Targeting heater. Awareness. I want to have rifle on this one. Just computer use? That's useless for HK. None! That's a T3 update. Okay, let's go ahead and save the game. We haven't done that at all this game.
Alrighty, thank you for joining. Once again, let's have a look at the birthday girl. Birthday girl. She's so fluffy. So, so fluffy. So, so fluffy. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you for joining me this time. Uh, please hit subscribe, check the notification bell so you get notifications of future uploads in this series as well as other content. Uh, please leave a comment saying happy birthday Sophie, that's spelled S-O-F-I-E, Sophie. She's very fluffy and it's her birthday and she's turning six years old. Um, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye!